Hello, everyone, and welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, home of the Bayou Bengals and the stadium called Death Valley since the late 50s. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day. The Razorbacks will get us underway with the opening kickoff. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Tigers will be in a hole thanks to that short return. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available, but you're not playing with one on behind your back. you got all guns blazing. Now on first down from the 30. Leaves it with the back. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Off the play fake. With the catch, it's Irvin. Knocked down after a short game, but enough to move those chains. LSU getting set on first and ten. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Fires to the big fella. Still on his feet at the 45. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, the ground game. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. The Bayou Bengals have been able to put on an aerial circus in recent years, but the foundation, a running game. Yeah, don't forget about the run game. That, that, that starts everything, right? Because if you can run it, you can throw it, you can create some balance and keep... Headed to the end zone. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Tigers! You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Razorbacks offense will try to get something started with their first possession. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Burks. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? He's looking to throw. Going to try to get it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end, nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Feeling some heat. Trying to get to it. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And the Razorbacks will punt this one away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He gets his first one of the day out of there, and they used him three times in that loss last week. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. They're working that left side. They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. Move the chains with that completion now on first down. 
Hand off from the gun. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense, first and goal from the seven. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Gets away. Let's it fly. And he's got it. Touchdown, Alex. And it's so underrated, the, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the end because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. A little bit backed up to start this drive from their own 18-yard line. Quarterback on the keeper. Got the first down. Looking for more. And he steps out of bounds after a nifty run and picking up a first down. One play in this drive and already out to the 41. It's first down. On the move, it's Burks. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. Guys, LSU has the lead here. They came out and jumped on them early in the first. Let's take a break and look at the first quarter stats. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. They'll go to the counter. Hard running there. All season long, we've been watching this defense dominate against the run. They're the number one rush defense in the entire country. With a big lead in this game, you cannot run the ball and expect to win and get back in it. Got a man. It's set. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. The Razorbacks will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Kicks it high, and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. I mean, offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession win. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The give to the back. They'll make the stop at the 42. It's a pickup of five, and that will be enough for a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Quickly out to the tight end. A nice job by the defense there, tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. He's right on target. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. They're looking to pass from the red zone. 
And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for the second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They've got it right on the edge of the red zone, but they face a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. If you don't have good vision, you're not going to be a middle-of-field safety. You've got a lot of ground to cover from hash to hash. You better be able to see the quarterback. You better be able to see routes and break on the football. Nice job seeing the formation, seeing the route, breaking on it, and making the interception. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. And now on second down for this offense. Fires to the wideout. Wide open downfield. He's loose. He's at the 10. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Razorbacks! Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. And we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage. Defenses are going to have to get something to get out. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Air Force is currently ahead in this one, but they may need to rev up an F-16 if they want to turn this into a blowout today. They're up by a field goal over Boise State. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Quick strike complete. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Short completion last play. Let's see if they throw it again. He's looking for an open man on second down. He's got it. QBs, when you see zone coverage, man can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw. You get a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Just a short pass to the tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to the air one more time. Finds his target down the middle. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. Tosses it incomplete. Not seeing a lot of chemistry between the QB and his intended target on that play. Couldn't find his man last time. That leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab on the left. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. New set of downs after that completion. To the air on first down. Complete. Across the 25, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. LSU looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Now from inside the red zone. Gets it out fast. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. LSU lining up first and goal. Wide out in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Delivers the contact. Touchdown by you, Bengals. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. Here comes the offense on first down. 
Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in the block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaches. LSU ready to boot it away and open this second half. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. Trailing by a couple of scores, they'd like to generate some confidence here early in the third quarter. Down two possessions, the coaching staff met in at halftime, and they've probably scripted this opening drive, just like they do at the start of the game. They've now got an idea of what plays they feel most confident in, what plays their quarterback is seeing the best to go out here and execute a scoring. Well, and it's nice to get the ball first. Like, I got the first opportunity to close the gap a little bit, apply some great game pressure to these guys. So I think getting the ball first, driving down, scoring right here would be huge. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Sends it downfield. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Snap in the shotgun. Using the quick game. At the 40, there he goes. He's out of bounds after a really nice game, but there is a marker on the field. Just an ill-advised play by the defender to make contact with the quarterback after the throw, and it cost his team. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this run. Well, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's complete! Touchdown, Arkansas! And here they come, almost all the way back. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ball game. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And the defense snatches it, and they reverse the field. And the quarterback just ran out of time there, and they were able to knock it free. Quarterbacks have got to do a great job keeping two hands on the football, especially in passing situations like that, because you know defenders are swatting at the ball. Even if you can't see them, these guys that are 6'5", 6'6", they've got long arms. They're trying to rip and tug away and get that ball out of your hands. The QB will learn from this play. He's got to do a better job with his fundamentals. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. Perfect execution by this defense. They played pass, sat back, looked at the quarterback, took everything away, and even better, good pass rush finishes it, now put him in a predictable. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We got to figure something out. We got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everything. Blitz everybody. Live for the results because everything else ain't working anyway. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. He'll do it himself. At the 35, he's got room. And it's a fumble after that huge game. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. 
And how about this defense coming up with the play? You want to make your quarterback a runner? Fine. We're going to stop him and take the ball. And they're prepared, right? This is a defense that looks like they studied film. Got a lot of running room. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Holding. 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 Open. Open. Holding penalties. The ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Looking for a productive play on first down. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Got his man quickly. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. He's looking to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. How about that Bayou Bengal defensive front showing some dominance? Booger McFarlane, Marcus Spears liking their pressure. And that defensive line getting to the quarterback. And, and the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. And the Razorbacks will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin them back deep in their own end. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing his pass. They'll give it to the back. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. He leaves it with his back. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. We reach the end of the third quarter, and we have a potential classic on our hands, all tied up as we take a peek at the stats. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And the Tigers with the first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Finds his big tight end. Headed to the end zone. Touchdown, LSU! They move on top here on the fourth. And it's not an accident. They're featuring this guy. His second receiving touchdown of the game. That's your job as a coach. Find my playmakers, get them the ball so they can do damage and have games like this right here. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They'll throw it on first down. He looks that one in nicely. At the 45 on his way. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. They were backed up, and then suddenly they weren't. They've got it first and 10 now inside the 50. The give out of the gun. Brought down at the 38. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Off play action. He hurls one deep down the left side. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. 
He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter. Touchdown, Arkansas! And they take it in for six more points. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. Fielded in the end zone. It's Eaton. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. He'll keep it himself. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. They drag him down, but not before he's moved the chains and the screen pass is effective. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air, chunk play after chunk play, and here they come again. He tosses one high and deep down the left side, and he makes the catch inside the 10. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football, had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. They ripped off a huge... Trunk is needed to pay it off. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Touchdown, Tigers! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. What a great game, tied late in the ballgame. Who's going to make the big play? They come up with it late, take the lead. Nice execution. It's hard to execute in these moments. People get tight. The score is tied late in the game. I don't want to mess up, but this offense doesn't worry about messing up. They put the ball in the end zone and take the lead. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hogs send that offense back onto the field. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position. Oh, look out! He's at the 30. Just trucks through it. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. And guys, if they can somehow, some way, find their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth. He'll pull it on the read. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. On the ground, it's Burks. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. 
And this is the area of the field where it gets really, really tough. Because the red zone, you know you got to run the football more. Well, this defense is number one in the nation against the run. So I look for this offense to, to be more physical, be creative, try to find ways to run the ball against this defense that is so dynamic. If they can pay off this third and goal opportunity, man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Razorbacks! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Man, great execution. That is how it's done late in the football game now. All you need is that extra point. Bring the kicker out there. This is what you do, just like practice. Knock it through the uprights, tie this football game, and we might be looking at overtime soon. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, you always talk about the first first down, Jesse. Get that first first down, stop the clock, get some momentum going on offense. Yeah, and good decision-making by the quarterback, too, right? You don't have to be greedy in this situation. Just take what the defense gives you and get yourself in position to win. They'll throw it on first down. He'll off one deep down the left side. And he's got it inside the 15-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers! And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Who can you count on those big moments? Who can make those big plays? Who do you trust? And they trust the receiver to run a go and to run right by the DB. He makes the play, breaks the tie, takes the lead for this football team. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. And they're going to have to fight this defense, and they're also up against it with time, Jesse. Yeah, no doubt, Reese. And this quarterback now, he's going to have to show off his poise, David. They practice these late-game situations, but how's this guy going to respond? And I got a little bit of time to work with here, so I watch the defense, and if they're going to drop back and play real conservative like they tend to do late in the game, let's get a few shots over the middle first before we have to take that deep shot. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Fires to the right. Oh, picked off. We've seen this defense make plays time and time again in this game. They may have just sealed it with that takeaway. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. This offense has a second down play. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Timeout is called, and the clock is down to eight. Down to the 26-yard line and a first down. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. He's got it. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. Timeout is called with just a single second left. That completion leaves us with second and medium. He's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. Takes it into the end zone for the touchdown on the final play. The Daniel Mock. The upper lock. The finishing touch. So you think they shouldn't run up the score like this? 
I remember a, an old story of one coach telling the other one, I only coach one team, man. It's your job to stop me. Yep, I, I like that approach. That should be your philosophy, but that doesn't mean you don't remember that. You have a turn later on, a lot of times, when your team's better, to do the same thing, to return the favor and make him forget that. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly, this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about